to make the contact page i have to navigate to the contact and here you can see let's take a look how the contact page looks like inside our design if we, if we take a look at here you can see the contact page looks like this just zoom in and here we can see the first one is page header we have already page header and as seen in then newsletter sign up so let's create contact page go to edit page and i would like to close the customizer from here contact and change the layout disable title and featured image click update click edit with elementor and inside the contact page i would like to reload this one now it looks like this and it's completely blank now if i go to our elementor editor here you can see it looks like this the first section which is called page header now click insert page header so we have already uh, another section which is called as seen in after that we have already another section which is called newsletter sign up form insert so we have already completed 70 percent in our contact page now let's change the image and text here contact me click over here export the image from here click export and download this one go to elementary editor click style and delete this image click here again upload this image now I'm moving forward a little bit faster because I have already uh, shown you uh, in my previous video how to upload how to do some things here I have already uh, did couple of times so I think you already understand if you haven't uh, or those video then please uh, start watching them uh, serially and and uh, start watching them one by one by one do not escape any of them now it's complete click over here to add another section let's take a look at design so we can use two column here inside the section we can add inner section and inside inner section not inner section in the primary section here you can say i'm editing the section right now click over here to add padding 80 pixel top and 80 pixel bottom now add a contact form and here you can see i have to add contact form and also some other text let's copy the text from here drag it paste copy text from here drag and drop paste it here and there is another text which is this one i think we can simply copy this one or we can copy the above one then simply paste it here this is just a dummy text so that's why uh, you don't have to be serious about it, this text you can always change it later now if okay i would like to remove the break so that uh, the spacing should display perfectly now there is a call me and say hi with icon let's create this one go to list item or icon list you can also use icon box the icon box is perfect let's change the phone number here and change the icon phone yes it's similar and add a background stack or frame you can make it stack or frame let's stack and square you can make it a little bit uh, circle and you can also make it nicer now i would like to add this text call me 
hey call me well so mm -hmm, we can add till and then our number so when someone click over here they can directly call you and it will open your number directly into the phone let's click on update and take a look how it works if i click over here here you can see uh, it's going to call the user the number right because i have added a text with a link which is called tell and the phone number here make sure there is no space between them well and let's make it nicer go to our style and border radius at 10 pixel or 15 15 looks great and reduce the spacing size you should make it smaller primary color and the secondary color should black not pure black now here you can see the content and inside the content here you can change the spacing and you can always change the typography from here so call me well and descriptions you can make it a little bit bold and increase the font size now it looks perfect right now if i take a look at my design it looks like this so i think it's perfect now and let's add some spacing here inside the content our advanced there is no nothing it looks perfect right now well just copy this one and duplicate and say hi contact so you can contact me directly using this email and mail to this is the email so when someone click over here it will take them directly uh, to mail me uh, or open the email which is connected to your webs uh, your computer so envelope this is the icon that i would like to use here and now it looks like this so it's complete i just completed this section now if you want to create a contact form there is a couple of different ways but if i search here contact here you can see contact from seven and other forms which is from essential add-on elementor now if i drag any form here you cannot create them directly from here so i have to create the form from wp forms if i go to all forms there is a one form which is newsletter sign up now i have to create add new if you take a look at the contact page here you can see name email subject and message now let's create a blank form which is contact form create a blank form and take a look at the design which is the first one is name email subject message well drag it here email single line text that means i would like to use subject and paragraph text which is refers to message now i'd like to change it from here based on my design so this is required if i zoom in this one here you can see the name email subject and message now let's take a look and make sure you have made this section which is large so that it can be displayed perfectly on any devices let's change it subject and make it required go to advanced change it to large 
again go to paragraph text and make it uh, change it to message and also i'd like to make it required go to advance to change the size of the field to make it large okay so somehow the large is not going to be large no worry by default the message field always display large well it's done now if i go to click sub save and if i go to our elementary editor click update here and make sure you have updated this page because if you haven't updated this one you will be not going to use the form it will not going to display here without updating because i have changed it already right now if i click over here type your wp form and here you can see the wp form from essential add-on you can use from essential add-on or you can use wp form directly so the essential add-on will allow you to customize and design your form so i'd like to use essential add-on here and select the form which is called contact form now the contact form is displaying here let's disable the title let's have a look if is there any title or not there is no title just a box shadow well first take a look how it looks it looks perfect similar except the submit button now add some padding here padding 30 pixel and click style to make uh, add some border or uh, box shadow and border radius let's add border radius 20 pixel and click on box shadow here to make a slight a uh, beautiful box shadow well it's so beautiful and now here you can see the blur and spread the box shadow and let's make it blur you can always play around with the box shadow i think it looks perfect now now the another thing that is uh, i have to make this section vertical middle Mm -hmm. and inner section should be middle now if i go to the design and here you can see there is a space between the two section right so i'd like to add some margin at the right side here so select this column go to advance uncheck and add some margin at the right side well now it looks perfect so you can also add some margin to the left side of this column but i think it looks perfect now so that's all from my end and i hope you understand how to create a website from figma to elementor or how to make a website using astra with elementor so there are lots of things that i would like to share with you in this series tutorial and more video will be coming soon on this list here thank you so much and i will see you in the next video